Good evening, diehards. Many of you checking in. Bruins, Canucks, big game. Third game on the West Coast trip for the Bruins. They're currently 4 2 and 1. Nine points. Good for second place in the Atlantic Division. They face a tough task. The Canucks have won three in a row. They're hot, playing some pretty good hockey. And I believe that you're going to see the Bruins have to be ready for the test tonight. Um, the one thing the Canucks I've noticed have gotten is something the Bruins are searching for, which is secondary scoring. I'll go through a couple little bit of numbers. Elias Peterson leads the way for them. Five goals, three assists for eight. Bo Horvat, 4-1-5. Bartski, 2-3-5. Alex Edler, the only defenseman in their top eight in scoring, is got zero goals, five assists for five. Brock Boser, coming off a really good year um, last season, has already got two goals, two assists for four points. Brandon Sutter, 2-1-3. Jake Vertinen, on the right wing, 2-1-3. Marcus Granlund, good veteran, 1-2-3. Nick Goldobin, Nikolai Goldobin, a right winger, 1-2-3. And our old buddy Louis Erickson, zero goals, three assists for three points. Canucks are four and three, eight points. They trail Anaheim by three in the Pacific, and they're tied with the Flames with uh, at a record of four and three. Not sure who's going in between the pipes. Markstrom is one and two. Nielsen is three and one. Wouldn't be surprised if it's Nielsen. It's because he's hot right now. Bruins need to get something going out of that second and third line. I mentioned it earlier in my live video. I, they need to figure out a way to jumpstart that second line especially. Craigie's got the ability. And if he's healthy, that's the best place for him because he makes a lot of money. Brusque is pretty much a solid partner on the, on the wing for him. Um, I don't think you're going to see that them switch too much. Brusque is a solid wing, and he's cemented his spot in that Second line. Now, Heinen, Donato, Bacchus, Wagner, Nordstrom, whoever you want to put on that other side, they got to step up and give this team what they need. They need secondary scoring in the worst of ways. Now, I don't want them to go out and trade Jake DeBrusque and Krug for Panarin, which is a rumor for being floated around. Not right now. I would love to see Panarin come here. However, they got to lock him up. So I think that's a panic move right now. Rask most likely will be between the pipes, rightfully so. He's the starting goalie. The Bruins need to find a way to get secondary scoring if they want to pull off this win tonight. And it would be good because they've lost one in overtime and they lost a terrible game to the Flames um, on this trip so far. So getting a win tonight, we even everything up. And it would be a, a solid two points in their only game this weekend. Check in with you after the game. It's a late one. Bruins Canucks tonight, 9 o'clock from Vancouver.